Story recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a drama, horror, and mystery film called The Witch. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In 17th century New England, a Puritan family of six is put on trial after the townsfolk accuse the father, William, of speaking ill of God. William disagrees with their beliefs and brands the community as false Christians. Because of the dispute, William and his wife, Catherine, their children, Thomason, Caleb, Mercy, and Jonas, are banished from the town. They begin their journey immediately and ride on a small carriage to look for a new home. Thomason looks back at the village that she's known all her life. The family quickly finds a new home by the woods and shows gratitude to the Lord by praying on their knees. They build a farm near the secluded forest to move on and start anew. Catherine bears her fifth child named Samuel, whom Thomason takes care of often. Thomason is still loyal to her faith as she prays regularly and repents on her sins. On a typical day, Thomason plays peekaboo with Samuel to entertain him. Initially, the baby giggles as his big sister play with him. All of a sudden, after she opens her hands, baby Samuel disappears. Thomason's face fills with fear as she calls for him and runs into the woods. A woman dressed in a red cloak runs across the forest, holding Samuel. The stolen baby is now in the hands of a stranger, whose intentions toward him are sinister. A wrinkled hand strokes the baby's body before pointing a knife at him. Moments later, with the full moon in sight, the woman pounds Samuel's remains and rubs the blood all over her body, completing her ritual. Back at home, the abduction of Samuel devastates the whole family, especially Catherine. She spends most of her time crying and grieving. Caleb notices Thomason having a bad dream as she twitches while sleeping. He wakes her up to calm her down. A lot of them believe that a wolf is responsible for taking the baby. William explains to Caleb that there is no hope for them to find Samuel alive because several days have passed. Both of them decide to hunt and enter the woods. However, Caleb questions why they should enter the forest when William says that it is forbidden. He says that their crops are not that great, and their harvest cannot last the winter. At this point, they must catch their food if they cannot grow it. They proceed to hunt while the rest of the family stays at home. Thomason overhears her mother weeping in the room while saying a prayer out loud. She observes her from the door and can't help feeling guilty. Back in the woods, William lectures his son about spiritual matters as they go deeper into the woods. After setting a trap, Caleb questions whether the unbaptized soul of Samuel could reach heaven or not. William refuses to talk about him anymore, but Caleb persists. William calmly explains that some things remain unknown as they are only humans. He then reveals that he could afford their hunting equipment after he traded Catherine's prized silver cup. He warns the young boy that he must not speak a word about it to his siblings. They spot a rabbit and hurriedly load the rifle. William aims it at the rabbit, but unfortunately, the recoil from the shot gets him in the eye, sending the rabbit away. On the farm, the twins play with a large black goat that they named Black Philip. They are fond of the goat and even sing songs to him. William rushes to the farm after seeing Mercy and Jonas playing with the Black Philip. He thinks that it is dangerous as its horns could harm them. William struggles to control the goat but manages to cage the animal. Catherine gets into an angry mood and starts sermonizing everyone. She is harsher toward Thomason and orders her to gather her father's dirty clothes. Catherine also questions William about where he has been all day. Caleb backs him up and says that they looked for apples to cheer Catherine up. She holds Caleb dearly and says that nothing is more important to her than their safety. Thomason cleans her father's clothes by the river when Caleb arrives. He glances at his sister's body out of curiosity, signifying that he is about to reach manhood. She notices her brother's weird behavior, but she remains unbothered. She embraces her brother in hopes of cheering him up. They hear rustling noises and stand up to check on them. Mercy startles them by pretending to be a witch by impersonating a witch's voice. She is a stubborn little girl who continually refuses to follow Thomason. Mercy tells Thomason that their mother hates her and that it is her fault that Samuel is gone. The little girl also adds that she saw the witch taking the baby away, but Caleb contradicts the idea. Thomason plays along with the accusation and starts to scare Mercy. Thomason says she is a witch and that she will get mercy if she continues to bother her. The little girl shrieks in fear, so Caleb comes to her rescue. That night, while the family prays before their meal, they break pieces of bread for them to share. Catherine questions Thomason about the disappearance of the cup, her daughter responds that she has not touched it. Catherine becomes agitated, focuses her anger on Thomason, and suspects her to be responsible for Samuel's disappearance. William defends her, as he is indeed the one responsible for the missing cup. 
Thomason heads outside to bed the sheep down. She hears eerie noises in the dark of night, and upon getting closer to the sheep den, she finds the rabbit that William failed to hunt earlier. That night, Catherine opens up about the importance of the silver cup to her. She explains that it is their only substitute if their crops continue to die. She also adds that Thomason has now begun her way to womanhood. Catherine discusses with William that they should give Thomason to another family, which she overhears. She breaks into tears while hearing their mother have a meltdown about the problems circulating in their family. In the middle of the night, Caleb sneaks out of his bed to attend to his horse. Thomason finds him and asks the reason behind being up late. He says that he will head to the forest, but Thomason stops him from leaving unless he lets her tag along. Both of them walk through the forest to check the trap they have set and find a dead animal attached to it. Fowler, their dog, barks at something in the woods. This gets the sibling's attention and looks for what it is. The same rabbit appears again, which takes their horse into a panic. Fowler gives a chase to the rabbit aggressively, and Caleb follows to kill the rabbit for food. Thomason is left with the horse, and because of her lack of experience in riding, she falls to the ground, which knocks her unconscious. The rest of the family grow worried as Thomason and Caleb have not returned home. The sun is about to set, which makes the forest much more dangerous. Caleb loses track of his path and desperately calls her sister. Without any response, he prays as he walks to find his way out. He hears Fowler letting out a yelp from a distance, so he follows the sound. Caleb finds their dog dying as his intestines are open as if a bloodthirsty creature attacked it. He runs out of fear that he might end up the same as his dog. Meanwhile, Thomason gains consciousness and reunites with her father, who is in search of them. After asking where her brother is, Thomason is in disbelief that he has not made his way home. Caleb discovers a small hut from which a beautiful woman emerges to lure him. She gives her a gentle kiss on the lips before her arm becomes aged and wrinkled as she grabs Caleb. William takes Thomason home, and Catherine angrily scolds her for taking Caleb into the woods. He feels terrible for Thomason, who has suffered being on the receiving end of Catherine's hatred. Because of it, he reluctantly admits that he sold the silver cup. He also asks forgiveness from Thomason for being the one to blame for everything. The knowledge of it devastates Catherine, so both of them argue in the rain. The bond between Catherine and Thomason is now restored, she becomes more affectionate toward her daughter. Later that night, as the storm rages, Thomason discovers Caleb outside the home, naked, incoherent, and mysteriously ill. She runs to his rescue and calls for help from their parents. Caleb becomes bedridden and is unable to move of his own will. They all become worried that evil is overtaking them, so they perform a ritual that includes extracting blood from Caleb to offer to God. To release his anger, William cuts wood in the middle of the night despite the rain. The following day, the twins converse with Black Philip. Mercy tells Thomason that according to the goat, wickedness fills her. Mercy and Jonas continue to accuse Thomason of being a witch, and they become more stubborn. Thomason attempts to milk the nanny goat, but it only produces blood instead of milk. She starts trembling and kicks the bucket of blood out of fear, which scares the twins as much. Catherine prays over Caleb's body as William enters the room. She persuades him that it might be witchcraft, but he dismisses the idea. He plans on going back to town to find Thomas and a family and bring Caleb to the doctors. Catherine breaks down once again because of the gravity of their situation. While gathering the harvested crops, the family's girls hear a scream from inside their house. They rush inside to check on Caleb, only to find him chanting some prayer. He twitches on the bed and expresses his pain. He shouts random words while in pain. He becomes unresponsive and vomits a whole apple with a single bite taken out of it. Catherine says that her son is bewitched. The twins point out that Thomason is responsible for the curse as they run to their mother. Mercy and Jonas talk about evidence that concludes that Thomason is a witch, but she denies it desperately. The twins persuade Catherine, so she keeps her distance from her daughter. To prove that she is not a witch, William makes Thomason kneel in front of him to ask about her faith. They all pray together as a family when suddenly, the twins claim to forget the proper words of their prayer and become unresponsive. When Thomason orders them to pray, the twins fall to the floor and twitch in great pain. Caleb gasps for air and starts saying, she desires my blood. Mercy and Jonas say the exact phrase as well. Caleb speaks as if he accepts that he is about to meet God, and he starts to pray passionately before dying with a smile on his face. Catherine tries to retrieve him, but hope is gone. She has lost another child once again and cries excessively. She shouts at Thomason, which makes her run outside. Confusion fills her mind as she has no idea what she did wrong. William runs after her to provide her solace. Moments later, he expresses his suspicions about her being involved in witchcraft. Thomason feels betrayed and lost because no one believes her. 
They both continue to argue as Thomason points out William's sins. She states that perhaps the twins made a demonic pact with Black Philip whom they talk to all day and make songs about. She adds that the devil takes the shape of a he goat, and Black Philip is Lucifer. Because of confusion on who the real culprit among the family is, William locks his remaining children in the goat house. Thomason denies being a witch, but Mercy and Jonas do not answer when she asks if they have spoken with Black Philip. William and Catherine bury Caleb by their house, and she gives him a last embrace. Thomason hears William break down at night and confess to God that he has been prideful and made his family leave their village out of stubbornness. As Catherine prepares for bed, she gets a vision of Caleb sitting on a chair while holding Samuel. She approaches the ghost of her children and takes the baby for her to breastfeed. Meanwhile, the children awaken to see an older woman drinking milk from the nanny goat. They look at her intently, but she turns to attack the twins. The three of them let out a loud shriek upon the event. Catherine continues to feed Samuel back in the house, but in reality, a crow is pecking on her chest as she hallucinates seeing her dead children. She wakes up the following day with bloodstains on her dress. As William awakens, he finds the whole farm in ruins. The goats have been slaughtered, and the twins seem to have vanished. William looks at Thomason with confusion as she is the only one surviving. Out of nowhere, Black Philip attacks him by charging its horns on his torso. William grabs an axe, he seems ready to fight, but he then drops it, allowing Black Philip to charge at him once again and knock him into a pile of logs that crushes him. Thomason's father is killed before her eyes. She slowly approaches William to take one last look at his lifeless body. Catherine grabs her by the hair and calls her the devil. Catherine is completely unhinged and blames Thomason for everything the tragedies that happened to their family. Catherine accuses her of trying seduction on William and Caleb. She brings Thomason to the ground and beats her recklessly. In self-defense, Thomason grabs a hook to fight back. This causes a wound on Catherine's forehead, so she strangles Thomason, trying harder to get rid of her. Out of desperation, she uses the hook to attack Catherine once again, which kills her instantly. She embraces her mother despite every pain that she has caused. She realizes that she is all alone, with no family or friends left. Thomason gathers the courage to stand up and enter the house. She removes her clothes that are full of bloodstains and takes a moment to let everything sink in. Thomason hears chiming sounds, so she follows them, which leads her to the stable. She conjures Black Philip to speak to her, to which it asks what she desires. It continues to ask her if she would want to live deliciously. Black Philip turns into a tall man and commands Thomason to remove her clothes and put her name in a book that appears before her. Thomason and Black Philip make their way to the woods, where chanting noises lead her to a group of witches. They gather around a fire and begin to levitate. A happy and laughing Thomason joins them in their ritual, ascending above the woods. Finally, Thomason feels a sense of belonging. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.